I'm now joined by head of Bellator Europe, Dave Green. Dave, what do you mean to this Bellator card on Friday night? It's a well, I mean, you know, we've had a little, uh, you know, we've had our issues with it, as you have to be said. And uh, but I think, you know, we've had such strength and depth on this card that it could handle a few dropouts, really. And uh, so I think when you look in the room today and you saw the fighters lined up, you know, people like Benson Henderson, you know. Ryan Scope, you've got such an array of great talent, obviously MVP, the Jimmy Show. Uh, it's just a fantastic card, and you know, despite a couple of the dropouts, I think we've managed to have such a big card, probably one of the best we've ever seen in Ireland. And you know, I feel sorry for Cal not making it, I think that would have been a huge fight. Um, for him and, and for us to watch, but um, you know, it's going to be a fantastic night. Of fun. You mentioned the Jimmy Show, of course. Uh, Roman Salazar finally got really quite short notice. Yeah. Was he already on the Bellator radar? Were you already looking at um, How did that sort of come about? I mean, to be honest, as with as always, when you're trying to find a last-minute replacement, I mean, we're obviously very keen um, to keep James on the card. I think you know he's a lot of people come along want to see him. He's a huge star here in Ireland, so you know people have bought tickets for the fight. So I think it was important to try and find him matchup, and that just seemed like the best sort of uh, fight we could get for him. And I think it's a really interesting fight. I think uh, Rom's come along last minute, often nothing to prove in these fights. You know, he seems really relaxed seeing him today, and I think he's going to bring a big fight. Moving away from this card as well, you have just announced the sixth installment, Bellator London, November the 23rd. Is amongst the five bouts you've mentioned, Mike Shipman, Davian Edwards has made. I think it's one that, especially domestically, everybody's been looking for for a long time. Both men more than up for it. <laughs> well, I think you could see there was a, a little bit of tension there. They both they both want this fight. I think it's been at least two years in the making. I think, um, you know, uh, arguably when it was first touted, Fabian was still, you know, quite early in his career, but now we've seen him have some amazing fights. He's uh, you know, eight now, now, so Mike's obviously had been on a great run with Bellator, lost his last fight, but I think he's super hungry, and it's a fight everyone wants to see, and uh, what better place to put it on in, in London, in Wembley, uh, in November. London boy as well, Terry Brace has also been announced, he's been fighting Sorum back. Can you tell us a bit about the return of Sorum to Bellator, as he was from the Cape Dory eyes? Yeah, I think, um, again, I just, you know, I think when you look at the Nordic, Scandinavia, I think, you know, they've got some fantastic talent up there. The guys, you know, do well on all sorts of amateur levels. And then, you know, you see these guys have got great followings and Soren's a fantastic fighter. I think it's a really, really interesting fight with Terry. Um, I love promoting Terry. I think in, in London he does very well. He's got huge support. And uh, having someone like Soren come along and make his debut, for Bellator in London will be fantastic. And we'll have six shows this year, moving forward 2020. I believe you were quoted 10, but... Yeah, well, well, I well, I think, um, you look, I think it's quite... I'm, I'm pleased we've managed to do six. We said we'd do six this year and we've announced six, so, you know, I think and there have been six big shows. Uh, obviously, still three more. It's hard to believe. We'll be three in fairly quick succession. We'll have uh, Dublin on Friday, Milan a couple of weeks after that, and then just about four weeks after that, we'll have Wembley to, to, to round off the year. And then, yeah, looking at 2020, we're, we're deep into our plans for that. I think, you know, we've said at least eight. Um, I'd like to see 10. You know, we've got a few little dates that are a bit uh, TBC, but, um, you know, it's going to be an exciting year, and uh, you'll see more and more of these huge Bellator cards come to Europe, which I think is what everybody loves. You mentioned them being possibly here, possibly more next year. You mentioned the Scandinavian link with Soren as well. Could that be an area that Bellator looked to explore? Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, um, we set up stock, set up our stall in London and, um, you know, Dublin was an obvious place to come. We've come here twice this year now. Uh, London will always be in our plans. Dublin will be in our plans. But then you have to look at mainland Europe and uh, think of where we can go to there. And uh, Scandinavia, as I said, it's a huge, I mean, you look at the amount of gyms in Stockholm, Denmark, Finland, Norway, you've got a huge amount of talent there, so it'd be great to do a show. I'd love to. No main event announced yet for the Bellator London card. Can we no. expect that in the next couple of weeks? Or? Yeah, absolutely. Keep looking at Bellator through all the normal channels, online, socials, and we'll be making a very big announcement uh, to sit like a cherry on top of that cake. And finally, James Haskell, one of the most recent signings, I caught up with him last week. He sounds so excited to be taking part. What's that mean as a company? Can you tell us a bit? The reason, I guess, behind the signing, that a lot of people weren't expecting it. I know he's done the big press release with the teams and photos and things. So, well, you know, I think our job, as much as you know, making big, big events that people want to watch in the MMA world, we're looking to, you know, get people into the sport and maybe people who are big sports fans who maybe don't know that much about MMA. And I think part of that growth is to look at ways we can do that, you know. And and someone like James has been on my radar for a, a quite a while, and I think he's someone who 
is very interesting. He's a, he's a really interesting personality, if you like, as well as a fantastic athlete. And I knew he was coming towards the end of his rugby playing days, and he's still a young man. And uh, I think what people don't know is he's been you know, training on and off with MMA for about 12 years. So he's, it's, it's not a, this isn't a, some sort of uh, publicity stunt. This is a multi-fight signing for us. And I just think it's going to be extremely interesting to have someone with his athleticism and his profile to come into the sport and maybe bring some new eyeballs to MMA and to Bellator. Thank you, dear. Thank you very much for your time. Thank, Thank you. you.